to another day of vlogmas just making my coffee like every other day um so you saw me and Jax went up to the little dog park this morning and he has a friend um so the past few days if I'm up there around 7 27 30 the same dog comes out um and now Jax just like expects that to be our morning routine, so we do it. If we go either late because I woke up late or like sometimes I've gone a little earlier, he will just like stand at the gate and wait for that dog, which is actually really sad when I know the dog's not coming. So I've just kind of made it our routine to usually go up there um, around that time and then they play for a little while and then I come inside and get ready for work, especially on days where I have 9.30. I was like, we gotta go. It's only eight, but I just like hate being rushed. You know, I need to like slowly get ready. Also, I'm starving, so that does play a role. My last English muffin, perfect. We're going grocery shopping today. I do, I am gonna bring Jackson soon to my nanny family's house. They always say that they like don't mind. What's difficult is I don't really wanna bring him for the first time on a day that they're in school because I just feel like he's gonna be distracting. And like when I go, it, when I get there at 9.30, they're like, they need to be like on calls. So they're gonna be way too excited. So I think I'm gonna bring him for the first time during Christmas break and then I'll just start bringing him regularly next um, semester after they've like met him because then it'll be less exciting when he gets there hopefully. So, that is the lowdown. I need to order more of these Nespresso pods, which is always like a little bit of an expense. So I'm never really all that excited for it, but I need to get ready. I really am trying to decide if I should bring my laptop because I really need to get a video edited, but I don't think I will get it edited while I'm at work today. So I talked myself out of going to Starbucks and Dunkin'. Basically, everyone I know is doing the trying your um, Starbucks and Dunkin' orders. Like, their subscribers don't have enough to do that. So, I'll do something else. But watching them makes me want Starbucks and Dunkin' so bad. Every time, I'm like, oh, that sounds so good. I should try that. I can't. I don't need to go to Starbucks or Dunkin'. I, the main reason I didn't today, because usually if I have a 9.30... Day, I do but I have these Alani new energies and I tried the other one and I was a day that I wasn't vlogging but I really liked it and so I'm gonna try the blue slush today and let you all know what I think I always do coffee regardless because why wouldn't I but then I don't know if I'll take that like as an afternoon kind of thing you know but I'll let you know I'm gonna go get ready all right so I'm 15 minutes in and honestly forgot until I was on the way here that the two-year-old is not at daycare this morning because her teacher tested positive for COVID. So I need this Alani new energy a little earlier than I thought. I brought it to have like at lunch, but she already wants me to play with her. And then the other three kids need help every once in a while. And I'm like, mm, I'm never gonna make it. So I'm gonna have this and you know what? Maybe I'll Postmates a Starbucks to me later because Oh my goodness. But I'm gonna taste test it for you. This is the blue slush energy with Whitney Simmons. Tastes like a blue raspberry Jolly Rancher. These are like a lot sweeter than I thought they would be. And they're carbonated, which I didn't expect. Obviously I don't pay much attention when people drink these things. But it's like supposed to not be that bad for you. You know, like monsters have like 85 million grams of sugar and this just has two grams of sugar alcohol. So anyways, hopefully this helps me make it through the day. So back to oh. All right, what are you making? Uh, I'm gonna make this and then I'm gonna uh, draw a design. What are you making? I have no idea. I think I'm gonna do the same as hers. Are you adding more water to that? Or are you done adding yes, water? Yes, I'm totally adding more water. <laughs> What are you making? I'm making a gingerbread Hubble. Okay, I can see that. This is I'm so fun. Make it inside a circle, a oval, and then yeah. a design of that. Where did you get that popsicle stick? Oh, I found it on the ground. Oh, that's a very good use of your surroundings. 
All right, I'm home and my plans have shockingly changed. Um, I actually am the worst at making decisions, probably out of anyone I know. I hate it, almost as bad as my grandfather. My grandfather literally won't do it. He's like, are you giving me options to make a choice? He's like, I'm not gonna do it. But, so on the way home, I could not decide for the life of me whether I wanted to go to the grocery store or not. So after work, went to Goodwill, and got a few things and then went to Home Goods right beside Goodwill because it was right beside Goodwill and ended up spending more time than I thought there. And so when I was leaving Goodwill, it was like 740 and I was weighing a lot of things. One, I was starving. Two, I felt bad because Jax has been home alone since nine. And so I was like, if I go to the grocery store, it'll be like a full 12 hours that he's been by himself. Didn't know where I wanted to go. I was just getting stressed and I was hungry and I was like, I'm just gonna go home. What ended up being the deciding factor is that I don't have the key card that gets me into our building. So I was like, if one of the doors is not open, I'm gonna be stuck with a bunch of groceries and no card. And so basically we have two doors. One, some people sometimes prop open and then the other, sometimes people will like turn the lock so that it, like the door catches and you can like come in and out without your key card. Mainly because it's just annoying and especially when you have like a bunch of stuff, it's annoying to get your card out and use it. It is a safety measure, I get it, but anyway. And it ended up being a good choice because neither of them were open and so I had to walk around the whole building up into the office and then you can use like your gate code and get into the building. Um, so it ended up being a good choice even though I had this huge home goods bag and I brought it all the way around the building and I don't know why. The bag is broken now. It like broke right in time when I was up here. So I'm gonna show you what I got but the new update is that my grandfather is sick now. He just like isn't feeling great. So my sister and I are not gonna go and see him and she's just gonna come here and hang out tomorrow. But also tomorrow during office hours, I'm gonna go get a new card because I keep telling myself that it's gonna show up because I don't know where the heck it would be. But I've like cleaned everything and looked through all of the clothes that I've worn and I don't know where it is. So I'm just gonna get a new one. I think it's like $30. It's annoying and unfortunate, but it is what it is. I think that's all the updates. I feel like I just talked a mile a minute and I'm so sorry. Anyway, the first thing I'm not gonna be able to show you actually, because it's for Ellie who watches every single video I've ever put up in my life, like the second that it gets put up. So shout out to her for being my biggest supporter. But I'm really excited about this gift because I ordered it probably early November. I think it, like it was before Black Friday, like early November. And um, I didn't get tracking on it because it was like an extra $10. And I was like, well, is it gonna be here by Christmas? And he was like, yeah. I was like, then I don't wanna pay $10 for tracking. But I was worried it wasn't gonna get here in time and it got here and I love it. Um, so I am really excited that that came because I was getting real nervous that it wasn't gonna be here and it's like one of the gifts I was most excited about. Also, I don't know when my family all became supportive but apparently they all watch my videos. I didn't think any of them did. And then the other day my mom like said something about me like paying for the person behind me and I was like, how do you know that? She's like, you don't think I watch your videos? I was like, no, good to know because I won't show any gifts. Um, Honestly, just none of them have ever said anything and I get it, they're busy, like why would they watch me? They know like what they need to know. But I did get gifts for my sister and my mom and I won't be able to show you those, but I'll show you what I can show you. So first, I have LOL, very niche gift group, but I got this hair chalk for my nanny kids. I think that they will love it. And one of my kids, um, said that she wanted like hair color stuff was one of the things she wanted. So I got her that. And then I got this little fashion sketch portfolio for another one of my nanny kids. We're actually celebrating tomorrow. I like told them his, oh gosh. So my nanny kids have been waiting. My nanny kids have been waiting since I like mentioned that I was gonna have gifts for them to figure out when we were gonna do our thing. And I was like, Tonight. Yeah. I don't know why. Why? Well, 
because I went to go. Please hold. All right, I'm back. So <laughs> they've been waiting for me to bring their gifts over. And honestly, I just hadn't gotten a gift for one of them. And so I just kept lying and saying, oh, it's in the mail. And then today, uh, something came over me and I told them I had got it and I would bring the gifts tomorrow. So I had to get something for her. So I got this little fashion sketch portfolio, which she'll love. For the nanny boy, I got him a yo-yo. This is an additional gift on top of his one because I feel like a lot of them are joint gifts and he's not actually gonna like them. Um, there's a board game and he'll probably like that. But then I also got like, the girls all have a separate box and it has like a coloring thing, some scrunchies and something else. I don't even remember, but he only has the one gift. And so I felt like he needed something else. All those things were from the dollar store for the girls, but this was only $4. So I got him a yo-yo. He's been talking about wanting one. So that's why I did that. And now I'm officially ready to do Christmas with them. And it'll be nice to do Christmas with them because then I will stop buying them things because <laughs> I already gave them their gifts. I'm really bad at continuing to buy things after I say I'm done because I think about it. Then I got these two little cheese knives. <laughs> thing the important things um but they say gather they're so cute and they were just five dollars and I was thinking about the cheese board that I'm ordering for my family for Christmas um I'm getting it actually from my roommate's mom's little shop and I was thinking about it and I was like how are we gonna serve it and in all like reality my mom might have cheese knives but I didn't and I wanted some so I got them. why am I defending my purchases and then I got this for myself. I kept telling myself, Jennifer, you don't need anything, which is true. But they're these mini little coffee syrups. There's um, sugar-free hazelnut, salted caramel, vanilla, and caramel. Um, oh, they're all sugar-free. That's fun. But anyways, I thought I would just try them out with my coffees. I don't really know what I'm doing with at-home coffees. So I figured it wouldn't hurt to try. Probably what I'm actually most excited about it was $5 and I've been wanting one and I just forget every time I'm at like a TJ Maxx or anything, but a storage shelf for our coffee, um, our coffee cabinet. And for the most part, they're um, all clean. So that's good. So this is what we're dealing with. We've got some stacked on top of each other. It's just really not a look. And then you just wait, just wait. And now look at her, she's beautiful. Nine on top of one another. They all fit so nicely. There's even some more room up here. Wow. For the low, low price of $5. Oh, I'm obsessed with these cups. I love Christmas. Okay, this is a terrible angle, but I almost forgot to share a win from today. So my nanny girl is two. Well, one of my nanny girls is two and she's not potty trained yet. And my nanny mom said when I started, she was like, I tried to put her in underwear and it just like didn't go well and whatever. And so we kind of just like haven't um, addressed it after that. And so I have just decided that I'm gonna make it my job to body train her because one, she's like almost three. And I know that she can do it if like somebody is on her enough and just like is consistent. And I completely understand that being a mom of four does not give you the time <laughs> to be on it as much as being a nanny whose sole job is making sure that the two year old is okay. So today I was like, we are gonna use the bathroom <laughs> every hour on the hour, not really on the hour, but she had zero accidents all day. She wasn't in underwear because I wasn't bold enough to do that. I was like, what if she pees on the floor or like the couch? Like, so I kept her in a pull up, but every time she went to the bathroom, the pull up was dry. And twice she told me she needed to go to the bathroom. And so every time I was like, I'm so proud of you, like way to go. We're gonna start wearing underwear, but she's really excited about the idea. Like, I know this sounds like a weird conversation, but she's like, yeah, I have PJ mask underwear and frozen underwear and like 
all this different stuff. So like she's excited. I'm not sure exactly how much she's connected like underwear with like being fully potty trained, but either way, she went to the bathroom all day today and I just kept reminding her, tried to think about it at least at once an hour. I think also part of the problem was that I was always like, see, do you need to go to the bathroom? And she'd be like, no. And so then I like, was just like, oh, but now I'm like, all right, see, it's time to go to the bathroom. And sometimes like, she'll want me to go with her. Like she'll want me to go to the bathroom at the same time she's going to the bathroom in her tiny bathroom. So whatever helps, I've like read books to her and we play games and just like, I make it like a fun time. So it's not like, I think a lot of the times her issue with like going to the bathroom is she feels like she's missing out. So before we went outside today, I took her while we were watching a movie, I paused it and I was like, it won't go, it won't turn back on until we get back. Like you won't miss anything. Before we got in the car to go look at Christmas lights, we went, we went when we got back. Like just making sure that it is at like convenient times and showing her that it doesn't like really take away from anything she's doing. So that was my win for today was her having zero accidents. I'm hoping that tomorrow it's like consistent during the day because I won't be there till 2.30. So usually when I get there at 2.30, her um, pull up is pretty wet. So we'll see how it goes. I'm like not judging. I'm just like, I wish I had like consecutive long days so that I could like drill it in and get it done. But anyway, it's still a win all day with no accidents when she's never had that. Like anyways, I am gonna take a bath and then I'm gonna wrap these presents. I'm kind of embarrassed because there are four children and there are 14 presents. So, I mean, I have a problem. I love buying gifts for people. I'm in bed, Jax is ready for bed, and I am just ending off this vlog. I hope that you enjoyed and I will see you tomorrow for another day of vlogmas.